you know, uh, ibuprofen, like every little bump and scratch in sports. I was raised in the, the you know, the early nineties era where, you know, ibuprofen was for everything. And, um, so anyways, I, it's just a long, I have a lot of risk factors for, for having IBS and bloating. And, you know, if we fast forward the story quite a bit, um, you know, my break point, I feel like everybody kind of has a breaking point, like an emotion, it's actually emotional usually, um, it was I was a consultant in Chicago in a high rise building. So every, every time I ate, it didn't matter if it was chicken and salad or, and I was trying to lose weight at that time. So I was eating a lot of chicken salad or like burgers and beer, I would bloat up and then have all kinds of stabbing knife pains. And then I was 16 stories up and there's like not that many places to go. So I'd end up crop dusting my, my coworkers. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, but anyways, they, they complained to my boss and my boss on a Friday, pulled me into his office and said, Hey, there's a smell in the office. And uh, everybody thinks